guys, Miss Sigmund here. We are actually in Texas at the Guadalupe Mountain National Park. So how did we get to the Guadalupe Mountains National Park? So we started off here in Albuquerque. We actually headed east on I-40 all the way to a place called Klein's Corners. Now Klein's Corners is interesting because you hear about it on the news, about the weather and all that, but it's actually not a town. It is actually a place, it's like a ginormous gas station. So from there, we headed south, going down to Encino, over to Vaughn, then again down 285, down to Roswell, keep going down to Artesia, keep going down to through Carlsbad, and then keep going down to this 180. And here you have in Texas, West Texas, Guadalupe Mountains National Park. So there you go. Okay, not to be gross, but check out the scat. Yes, scat's poop, so we're checking out poop. But if you look at it, it's hairy. Why is there hair in it? Ew. <laughs> You'll see some animals walking. Those are actually wild boar. One, two, three, four. Looks like there's two adults in the front. Right behind a bush goes a baby. So here's the Butterfield Overland Mail. This is the Pinary Station. So here's the Pinary Springs. So this is where we are. This is the route from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way to San Francisco, California. So speed was imperative. His slurdy coach traveled day and night, averaging 120 miles a day, carrying up to nine passengers, essential baggage, and 12,000 letters. Six horses or mules pulled each coach. So this is a memorial from 1858 to 1958. It says, dedicated to the airmen who, like the stage drivers before them, challenged the elements through this pass with the pioneer spirit and courage which resulted in a vast system of airline transportation known as American Airlines. The above inscription appears on the memorial marker placed at the summit of Guadalupe Peak by American Airlines on the centennial of the transcontinental overland mail. Pioneered by the Butterfield stage line passing near this site September 29, 1858 en route to San Francisco. Now if you look close, you will have the stagecoach and then you'll have the airlines. Memorial ruins of the Pinary or Pine Springs stage stand, which was built in 1858, which is what we just saw as a station on the Butterfield Overland Mail Route from St. Louis to San Francisco. It was abandoned in 1859 when the line was shifted to the Davis Mountain Route. So this is remnants. All right, so let's check out this building. out the stack stone and the mud in between. All right, so here's another one. This one actually, you can see, go inside the room. So we're actually going to go inside. And this is the last standing male spot left in the nation. Now, these were built every 20 miles. So this is the Frijole Historic Site. West Texas Ranch Home is the most complete remnant of early farming and ranching enterprises in the Guadalupe Mountains. Two pioneer ranchers, the Raider Brothers, settled here in the 1870s with a few cattle, 
their home, which consisted of the front rooms, was considered to be the old, oldest substantial building in the area. So this red building was periodically used as a bunkhouse, storage shed, barn, and a schoolhouse for ch local children. These structures were built entirely of native materials. This complex served as community centers for dances and other social gatherings, and the site of the Frijoli Post Office from 1912 to 1940. Can you imagine going to school in this building? So this, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a one-room schoolhouse. This was built in 1925 and used into through the 1930s. The teachers would be paid $30 a month plus room and board and a horse. All right, so we can't go actually into the schoolhouse, but here is a picture of, I guess, the kitchen for the school, and that's a doorway to get into the classroom itself. Check out that old-fashioned desk. So this house is really good shape, considering it was built in 1870. But as you get closer, you can see the stone and the mud, so almost like a how adobe is made but it, everything is from natural resources from the area so these rocks were found in this area 1870 that's crazy this was the first house and area that had the first hydraulic system so this is their spring where they pump through five gallons of water per minute So the spring house and the spring water kept the buildings cool for fruits and vegetables and their dairy products. Look at that system. Do you suppose that's the first basketball hoop? Look how it's built into that tree. All right, it looks like an old chicken coop. Kind of torn up, it's falling apart a little bit and weathered. Okay, so if you look real close in this oil barrel, go underneath there, there's some nests. You look real close. There's actually a couple eggs in there. You see them? So, the Guadalupe Mountain National Park in Texas is home to a lot of history from being under the ocean floor to over 80 miles of hiking trails. It is truly a unique experience 